I have one question to Anna. Uh, as you said, <laughs> <laughs> as you said, you were working with uh, multiple platforms. Yes. So, uh, according to you, when should you use WordPress and when should you use Drupal? <laughs> Oh, I because think I've, some, I've yeah. just tested Drupal once or twice for, for customers, mm -hmm. uh, and both those times it was sort of uh, too complicated for the customer. They could be using WordPress instead. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why I want to know. I think probably there are people who has uh, been written books about what to choose, Drupal or WordPress, so it's hard to, to say in one sentence, I guess. But uh, I would say that one, it's easier to work with translations or like multiple sites. S please tell me if I'm saying the wrong things here. My developers are here on the first row. <laughs> so yeah, so that, that, that one is one. But I would say that at Freud, the re like the last year, we have had a lot of more requests on, on WordPress than on Drupal. And I think that's because a lot of people are waiting for Drupal 8, and that's not launched yet. And th so there are a bit like uncertainty. So probably when they launch, and that's built on a, they have like restructured the whole CMS. And I, will, uh, I think that that one would be so much better than the existing Drupal. And then I think WordPress will get a competitor. Someone who wants to add something? <laughs> No. no. It's a too difficult question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a short question since I'm holding the mic? Um, in, uh, in WordPress, uh, when you write uh, pages or posts, you have the, uh, you, you can go to, to previous versions. Uh, but when you, of course, uh, you should never, uh, you should always use child, th child themes. But if, when you change in your themes, uh, when you have written over the old file, you don't have you don't have version in in WordPress. You have to have version al elsewhere. But do you know if there is some plugging so you can have some sort of version of themes uh, templates in WordPress if you want to keep everything in the same place? Oh, <laughs> I, I would say no as well. You can use GitHub and, uh, and uh, SVN and things like that, but you can't really manage it easily within WordPress. Okay, thank you. More questions? Yes. Uh, Hello. Uh, I, I read a little bit about the Swedish Suns, and I think it was Cap and Design a couple of months ago, something like that. And um, I just wonder how long time did it take to to build up the, uh, the new identity with the, the font and everything? Um, yeah, let me see. Like I said uh, in my speech before, it took us two years, but that included some of the internal workshops. Uh, but I would say like about six months to do the identity and the typeface as well, uh, something like that. And around, um, to mention budget, 400,000 crowns, including um, the, the typeface so not a, that expensive it's and it's since we're a, a governmental agency it's not a secret you know okay thank you. it's public <laughs> <laughs> hello my name is um, Inge Frisk um, uh, I'm here more for uh, non-voluntary purposes of uh, WordPress develop development for non-voluntary organizations very small where um, buying the services of your uh, firms would actually havoc the economy of such small voluntary organizations. I also hear here, so I depend when doing WordPress development work on my spare time for these uh, non-voluntary organizations, I depend very lot on, on the community to share freely. And uh, as you have mentioned, I bump into the bads and I bump into the good things and I have to live with a lot of plugins that are overlapping and, and so on. And uh, here then about the concept that Freud is, is doing, specializing plugins and etc. So you, the more commercial companies, what are you doing for sharing your experiences back into the community and publish as common creative? That's my question. Yes. Uh 
of course, when we do a, a project for a client, we need to d always discuss with the client if uh, they want us to share uh, what has been done in the project. Uh, so we, uh, we as an agency can't decide if everything we do will be free. But for example, in the case with Sweden.se, maybe Per, you want to? Yeah, um, a guy called uh, Jocke Jardenberg uh, approached us and said, uh, wow, Sweden.se, it looks amazing. Can we possibly reuse this uh, platform for Helsingborg? And uh, we, s we thought about it for like five seconds and then we said, of course, yes. So if you go to uh, Helsingborg.com, uh, Helsingborg dot com. Com, right? Then you see something that looks a bit like Sweden.se actually, but of course, we, why not share it? I mean, it's tax, mo tax money. And I mean, in the long run, we, we plan to actually provide a, a, a theme in WordPress that is a little bit more slimmed down that can be used for different purposes um, uh, and marketing of Sweden. Uh, and we also have uh, an idea of, uh, actually we are developing, I didn't mention that before, but we have uh, our own API and we also plan to provide that information and this API will of course be open for others to reuse and so on. Mm -hmm. So openness, of course, that's like a core value for, for the Swedish Institute and for Sweden in general, I think. And of course, when we have the chance, when we do things by ourselves or we, when we work at our own like boiler plates and so on, we, uh, we also share them at Git, for example. More questions? Hi, uh, I'm just curious, uh, after hearing from Helsingborg, is uh, WordPress used for intranet a lot? Is that common? Um, I've heard, I think it was the, um, a couple of years ago at this very venue, Riks Antiquarian Betet, they talked about uh, revamping the, their intranet into WordPress. And I think it works. I'm, I'm really attracted to the idea of having a layer on the actual site like si.se that we have a layer with more information for the for the employees so i want to do that at si.se but we have sharepoint right now and like it's a really long journey but i think in the in the long run of course yes i think it will work but i guess you have to keep the the documents out of wordpress and mm. find something else for that part because that's not the the, the big on the big plus side for, for wordpress and, uh, yeah I would say for the cre creativity part and like uh, the communication part, it would work very good. Is it common? I haven't heard about that many examples. No. I think uh, Helsingborg are in the forefront of, yes. of that. Yeah, <laughs> I think we, we've actually built one where yeah. I used to work. Yeah, it's, cool. it's not that common, uh, I guess. I mean, it could be because it's a great way to do it actually, but people are kind of not used to it. But as you said, yeah, for document holding, it's not that good. I mean, what w I think what we did was use Dropbox or something mm. similar mm. to that and just linking it up to it. But otherwise, for communication, it's excellent. Mm. And it's really easy to manage because the people who, you know, who've used WordPress before can get around really easily. Mm. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, hello. I just wanted to have an answer because I heard uh, two years ago that the uh, internet in Handelsbanken is very very much uh, done in WordPress. So there is also one more bank that uses WordPress. Tack, tack. Fler frågor? Do you have any own comment for, for, for today? I, I don't have any questions of my own. <laughs> no, no. What time is it? <laughs> oh, but then... There's one question. Oh, there. yeah, here we have one. Hello? Oh. Uh, just one question about the future of WordPress. Do you see WordPress involve and do, like, two two different programs or two different systems, one for blog and one for real websites? Or will WordPress just be a core with lots of plugins that makes a good administration? If you understand the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
It's a funny way to put it, blogs and normal websites. <laughs> <laughs> um, in short, no. I don't think WordPress will be split into two separate programs. Um, I was talking with one of my friends that it would be really great if WordPress was actually separated off into a separate project along the lines of better coding practices, putting it on an object-oriented framework and an MVC framework. Um, but I, I don't necessarily think this would be a good idea. Um, I kind of talked about it that it would exclude a lot of people, and you know, making two versions makes everything a lot more complex. Even if one version is actually better, it's just better to leave it as is. I, I think there will be a lot of you know, better plugins being made and so on, but I, I don't see it splitting up into two now. But I think that what we talked about earlier, about the API that will move into the core WordPress, that that will, uh, I think that will lead to a lot of like different takes on how to use WordPress, and people will use it maybe more as an input, and then they will take data but build other solutions yeah. not that are depending on, on WordPress. So that will be very, very interesting, I, I will say. Anything? Uh, då föreslår jag, uh, do you have a possibility to stay a while more if you have a specific question? Of course. Um, otherwise, I think we just wrap up for today. Uh, you, you had one question? No? <laughs> well, ha hand in the air. How about the baby? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what about the baby? I was just about to come to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it was 11.30, Maria uh, sent me a mess that it, they should start the process at 12. And we had uh, SMS contact, she asked if uh, all the speeches, if everything <laughs> correct, until 10 to 12, and after that, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have no clue at all. Um, so, it, it, very hard to... to um, that she couldn't be a part of the process today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today and uh, that we could continue the discussion. You have um, on uh, linked uh, through this uh, intranet that you had the address earlier. Uh, you have all the logged in uh, people in this network. You can sign up uh, through uh, LinkedIn and make more contact. Um, I thank you very much for everything today, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.